This is the second episode in a series of videos on how to create a chat application using PHP. The previous video was just an introduction on WebSocket and Sockets. And in this video, I will show you how to program the Socket server using PHP, which allows sending chat messages in plain text. A socket is identified by an IP address and a port number. I am using Docker for my PHP development environment. If you don't know how to set this up, then check out the video linked above. You can also find the complete code in the GitHub repository I have linked in the description below. So let's begin. Okay, let me open the Docker Compose file and create a port mapping. Here I am mapping the port 8060 on the local machine to the same port number on the PHP container. Then build the compose file by running the docker compose build command. Followed by that restart the php container. Next I am going to create a new directory called php socket chat inside the public directory. Then within that directory create a new file called socket.php. Let's define the variables. The first one is the ip address. The four zeros indicates that we want the socket to be accessible from all the IP4 addresses on that container, mainly because we are using Docker containers. Other containers in the network will also be able to communicate with the socket. Instead, if we use the loopback IP address, the socket will be accessible from inside the container only. Okay, the next one is the port variable which is assigned to 8060. We also want to define a null variable whose value is null. We will use this variable later when calling the socket read function. Followed by that let's call the socket create function and assign its value to a variable called soc. The function accepts three parameters, the address family, type and protocol. The constant afinet tells that the socket wants to use IP4 address. The next one soc stream sets the type of communication we want to use with the socket. The last one is the protocol. TCP, UDP and ICMP are supported and we are going with TCP. The socket create function returns an instance of the class socket. Then using the socket bind function, bind the socket instance to the address and port number. Next call the socket listen function to start listening for connections. Let's also output something to the command line, listening for new connections on port variable port. And at the very end, call the socket close function to close the socket instance. Now let me open an interactive terminal inside the PHP container by running the exec command. As you can see the container has PHP 8 installed on it. Next, run the socket.php file using the php command. You can see the echo statement listening for new connections on port 8060, which means our code is working successfully. However, the script just executed and then exited. That means it is not actively listening for new connections. To change that, we will add a while loop which keeps iterating infinitely. Before that, let's define a few more variables. The members array stores the name and connection instance of the connected chat members. The connection array is not much different from the members array. It also contains the connection instances and the main socket instance. So let's add the socket instance variable as the first element of the connections array variable. Now comes the while loop while of true which means it's an infinite loop. Inside the while loop we want to do two things. Check for incoming connections and also check for incoming messages from connected client sockets. Both can be done using the socket select function which accepts a few parameters such as reads, writes, exceptions and timeout. Since we want to check for incoming messages and connections only, set the reads variable to the connections variable at the beginning of the while loop. Then set the other two parameters to null. Then call the socket select function.
let the timeout be zero so that the function returns immediately keep in mind that the variables are passed by reference so the socket select function modifies the reads variable whenever there is a new connection or a new message from one of the connected clients also it works in a non blocking fashion so multiple users can connect simultaneously if there is a new connection then the socket instance variable will be present inside the reads array if so we will use the socket accept function to accept that connection and stores it to a variable called new connection then store the new connection to the connections array let's also notify the newly connected user by giving a reply reply equals connected to the chat socket server to send the reply to the client use the socket write function new connection reply and its length once the connection is established we no longer need the socket instance variable inside the reads array so let's remove that we already know that the index is zero but anyway let's use the array search function then unset the element from the array okay now let's go back to the terminal and check if we can connect to the socket run the socket.php file then open a new terminal window to try connecting as a client to make the connection i am going to use the telnet protocol as you can see telnet is already installed on my machine if not you can install it from the package manager on windows you can enable it from the programs and features section telnet allows communication between a remote host and a client via plain text so run the command telnet followed by the server name and the ip address now i am connected to the chat socket server to check if two users can connect simultaneously let me open another terminal window and run the telnet command again okay now both the clients are connected to the server the connection part is now complete but still the clients are not able to send messages and communicate each other to enable that we want the server to read messages from each of the clients and relay them to all the connected clients that's how a chat system works right so let me quit the telnet connections and also the socket process back in the socket.php file open a new for each loop and iterate through each of the elements in the reads array to read the data sent by the clients we will use the socket read function the first one is the variable value which is the socket instance and the second one is the length parameter which indicates the number of bytes to read here the variable data can either be a text message from the client or it can also be a disconnection request for instance when the client closes the terminal or the browser window so if the data variable is not empty then it means there is a text message from the client instead if the data variable is an empty string then it means the client has closed the connection actually it was a bit difficult to figure out how to detect a connection close because the php manual was not that clear about it it says the socket read function returns boolean false on error however this 15 year old comment came to the rescue it says the function returns an empty string instead of false i am not sure if it's the perfect way to do it but it's working in case you find any problem you can also try the socket receive function i have seen some tutorials using both socket read and socket receive to read data and to detect connection closes for now let's go with socket read alone okay when there is a message from one of the clients the server needs to read it and write it back to all the clients so open a for each loop and iterate through the connections array connections as c key c value then call the socket write function this time passing the connection instance data and the length of the data
else if the data variable is empty echo disconnecting the client client key then unset that client from the connections array also close that client's socket instance using the socket close function now let me go back to the terminal and run the socket again then connect the clients using telnet write some messages connect the second client as well you can already see the messages from both the clients to view them better i will detach the terminals and place them side by side okay now type some messages checking from client 1 and it appeared in the second client's window similarly checking from client 2 and it appeared in the first client's window so our chat system is working but if we check the server terminal we can see some errors error says broken pipe on line 42 so we want to fix that for that let me go back to the socket.php code quit the connections do you know why the error occurred the reason is the first element in the connection array is not a client instead it's the server socket variable itself remember we had passed the variable soc as the first element to the connection array so the solution to prevent the error is to skip the first element if c key equals 0 continue the loop let me run it again and this time it should work without any errors Okay our simple PHP based chat system is working as expected however we have been using plain text for the communication which is not secure also it's not capable to handle web socket connections from web browsers so in the next video i will show you how to make it compatible with the web socket protocol so that we can make connections from web browsers